All right, let's talk about average problems. First thing you got to know, you got to have the formula memorized. Unfortunately, at the beginning of the section, they don't give you the, they don't give this to you. So, uh, there's no flipping back to figure out what the average formula is. So, we know that the average is equal to the sum of the parts divided by the number of parts. And this shouldn't be too foreign to you cuz remember back, I can remember back in high school when I was trying to figure out, you know, what's my average for math this year? What did I do? You added up all the tests. And I divided by how many tests there were, how many how many things I had, right? So that's all you're doing here. You add everything up and you divide by how many things you had. Let's do a problem. Let's see if you can uh, use the average formula and, and plug in correctly. So let's take a look at an example here. Actually, you know what? I'll leave that there so you have the average formula. Okay, so this says the average or arithmetic mean of B and 8 is negative 3. What is the value of B? So all you're going to do is you're going to plug into your average formula. So let's let's try that. So it says the average of B and 8 is negative 3. The average is negative 3. What are we adding? B plus 8. And those are two things. So at this point, you can usually put your average over 1, and that helps you out so we can recognize that we're going to cross multiply. So you should get B plus 8 equals negative 6, well, minus the 8, minus the 8, and we get b is equal to negative 14. Okay? So let's just check that just to make sure. I know it's an easy problem, but we'll just check it real quick. So if b is negative 14, we're taking the average of negative 14 plus 8 divided by 2. We get negative 6 divided by 2 which equals negative 3. So that's the right answer. So I started you off with an easy one just to make sure you can plug into the average formula. Let's try a slightly harder one. Okay. This one says, what is the average or arithmetic mean of x, x plus 3, x minus 4, and x plus 7? Again, you can, you can pause the video here and try it on your own. I'm just going to go into the explanation. Uh, also, real quick, when it says arithmetic mean, you know, don't worry about that. They, that's just the SAT's way of saying the average. So you can pretty much ignore, ignore that when you see it. All right. So again, we're going to plug into the average formula. So we don't know our average, right? But what are we adding up? We're going to add up all this stuff. So let's do that. X plus X plus three plus X minus four plus X plus seven. How many things did I add up? Well, you have one two, three, four. All right, it's not, it's not all these separate things, right? Don't, conf don't get confused by that. It's one, two, three, four things. So we have, let's combine like terms. We have four x's, three minus four, negative one, plus seven is six, and the whole thing is going to be over four. So that's your average. They, really depending on the SAT, how they want the answer, you know, maybe they want you to simplify this, so we might be able to say 4 into 4 goes once, and 4 into 6, you can use your calculator, but if you know that 6 fourths equals 1.5, or 1 and a half. So this would be your final answer. This would be the one you'd want to circle come test day. Okay, let me give you a good tip. In an evenly spaced set of numbers, you can find the average by taking the average of the smallest and the largest numbers. And the main thing is that it has to be evenly spaced, okay? So this says find the average of the integers from 1 through 26. Now what you don't want to do if you got something like this on test day, and I kind of showed you, you know, what you don't want to do is end up uh, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6. You can do that and you'll get the question right. Let me just show you a shortcut. So all you're going to do, average the smallest and the largest. So that's going to be 1 plus 26, smallest and the largest, divided by how many numbers? 2. So that's 27 divided by 2, which gives you 13.5. And I actually ended up doing it before just to double check to make sure it works. But if you look on the calculate, calculator there, I ended up actually adding everything up. You can't see it on the top there, but um, we got 351. When you add it all up, you divide by 26 numbers, and we get 13.5. So that trick works. Nice little shortcut. You can even use that shortcut for when you're doing even numbers, you know, if it's a, if it's a set of even numbers or a set of odd numbers. The main thing, it has to be evenly spaced. So why don't you guys try this one? You can pause the video 
see if you can figure this one out. All right, so it says find the average of the even integers from 2 to 18. Well, doesn't matter. We're still evenly spaced. The smallest is 2. The largest is 18. We're dividing by two things. All right. 2 plus 18 is 20. 20 divided by 2 is 10. So your average would be 10. And you can check it on the calculator. It's going to work. So this is a nice little shortcut. Uh, you may, you know, the chances of you getting this on the SAT, you know, probably slim if you got something like this. But it's always good to know. All right. The last thing I'm going to I'm going to end with here, and just give me a second to set up the page. I want to talk about, so so far we've been kind of doing some easier ones. Let's talk about what the harder SAT average questions are going to ask you. So I put that here. It says, uh, harder SAT questions will ask you to solve for the sum, not the average. All right, so we can take a look at a situation where this might be one that's maybe a harder medium one or, you know, like a hard question. The average or arithmetic mean of four numbers is equal to 40. If one of the numbers is 12, what is the sum of the other numbers? I think this was actually a medium on, uh, on the January SAT, but we, it's something like this. We can go through this. So maybe what we'll do first is write our average formula. Average is sum of parts divided by number of parts. Okay, so what are we adding up here? The average of four numbers is equal to 40. So let's plug in. The average is 40. We have four numbers. And it says one of the numbers is 12. Well, we have three numbers left, right? So why don't we call them x, y, and z. Again, we're going to cross multiply. So 12 plus x plus y plus z is equal to uh, 40 times 4 is 160. Let's minus the 12. Minus the 12. And we get x plus y plus z is equal to 148. So let me move that up just a little bit. So 148 is your sum of the other numbers. We're looking for the sum of the other numbers. Okay, so that's one way that they'll make the problems harder. And I'll, and I'll say, even on the really hard ones, I'm going to do another video when we, when we look at difficult problems. But the main thing is, you know, back in school, we're always solving for average, right? Well, on the SAT, they make it harder. They make you solve for the sum of the parts, or in this case, we wanted the sum of just three of the numbers. All right, so I hope that lesson helped you out. Uh, if you need more help or you want to look at some harder ones, check out my video on the difficult average problems. I'll see you there.